Lunar Price Prediction 2022. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. If you're invested in Luna, and especially if you're looking to buy Luna, make sure you watch the video till the end, guys. Luna has dropped 50%. There's lots of big news going around, especially Anchor Protocol reserves going down. There's lots of FUD around it. In this video, guys, I'll share all everything that you need to know about this latest news. I'll share with you the news first. I'll share with you what the founder, Duk Kwan, is saying about this. And I'll also share with you my thoughts on it, on Luna long term. Luna was the best best performing cryptocurrency in 2021 we got involved in luna at five dollars it went absolutely parabolic to hundred dollars now luna's dip 50 percent if you follow us on twitter and youtube i shared a trade with you the luna trade this is the litecoin video make sure you watch all our videos guys i share with you live trades most youtube channels just talk about coins going to the moon but don't share when to buy when to sell so i shared this luna trade uh, bought some luna you can see exactly what the price is and luna hit our target so i'll share with you exactly why i took this trade a few questions on the reasoning behind it hopefully you made some money but i'll share with you the reasons for this i'll share with you a new trade setup luna is at a huge time frame support and as long as 50 dollar hold i think luna's uptrend can still be intact and we could get another rally so i'll share with you how i'm trading and my price prediction at the end of the video but i'll focus a lot on the fundamentals as well so if you do enjoy this kind of video guys make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button it really helps us out guys so if you do enjoy this content smash that like button it motivates us to create more content for you like this so anchor protocol uh, let's just quickly touch on what the FUD is around it. Then I'll explain to you the, the role that Luna plays. I've made other videos on what Luna does and why we love Luna so much if you watch our videos. But I'll quickly uh, introduce you to again the, the reasons how Luna works which will help uh, help you to understand the anchor protocol reserves issue. And then I, like I said I'll touch on all the latest news and then I'll share with you my thoughts go on on anchor protocol and luna going forward long term guys if you believe in luna you know not much has changed fundamentally for luna luna's tvl is only still just behind ethereum it's an amazing project and obviously there's some fud around it as well some of the bad things that are being said about luna is from their competitor maker dao and other people so you have to you know understand the the agenda behind why someone is saying that as well so i'll try to crush some fuds and i'll sh talk about concerns as well in this channel i don't just talk about bullish bullish news i i look at negatives and positives as well so the main fud is that anchor protocol reserves are going down at the currently is going down 1.25 million per day and if it carries on going down within three weeks the reserve uh, will go down to zero so that is the that is a fact that is not a fud that is a fact and and i'll touch on what the anchor protocol can do the lunar team can do and i'll share with you how it works as well so that's the main reason and i tweeted about this uh, the anchor protocol reserves going down and the duke one the founder has come up with this thread which i'll go through in a lot of detail explaining to you why he what his thoughts are going forward uh, in my opinion this hopefully this is just a bump in the road and we rally higher there's always going to be issues you know if you've been involved in cryptocurrency two of my favorite coins bitcoin ethereum even they went through fads they had issues ethereum went through a fork the, all the drama with ethereum ethereum classic there's always bumps in the road and it's gonna this is the time where it's i'm gonna you know potentially double down on my luna investment and again i'm potentially gonna look to put more money into luna if duquan and the team can come out of come out of this on the right side of the market because in cryptocurrency we're actually investing in the team we're not you know it, it's it, for it to succeed and get adoption it's you know potentially five ten years down the line luna has already got crazy adoption but you know for crypto to go mainstream there's still time to go and we're actually investing in the team and the people behind it so if the team can come up with this and this is just a bump in the road this would be very 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 bullish for uh, luna and the anchor protocol so let's explain to you the the role that luna plays it will help you understand how anchor protocol works and and some of the suggestions i'll make it will help you understand it so so luna terra is a tendermint based blockchain maintained by validators who follow the tendermint delegated proof of stake algorithm and vote on new blocks the validators run programs called full nodes and are required to stake a certain amount of luna tokens to be included in the active validator list uh, so luna basically is the mining power in the terra eco network and and the, the more its economy goes more stake luna stakers earns and you know the whole ecosystem grows another critical 
critical. This is why I got so heavily involved in Luna. I'm still making the DeFi content, guys. There's going to be another video coming out on the Luna DeFi section. And, you know, if Anchor Protocol stays 20%, I've, I've been earning 40, 50, at times, you know, 60, 70% on the Anchor Protocol and Mirror Protocol. So, I've already got a video how to make that money risk-free on Anchor Protocol. Another video will be coming out uh, on a DeFi, but hopefully the Anchor Protocol uh, still, the FUD goes away. It's just a bump in the road and, and it's up only from now. Hope before that video comes out, that's a presentation style video. It will take a bit longer, similar to my Olympus DAO video. So I'm still working on that. Should be out in the next week or so. So uh, this is the, my favorite bit. I'll, I'll, I'll read this out. So take the scenario one Terra USD. So UST is the stable coin in the Terra ecosystem. It's what the way it works is Luna holders in this case can swap one worth of Luna using the market swap feature on the Terra uh, station and sell it for one USD. Then you just sell it sell this for the market for a dollar value and profit from the difference in this regard the protocol effectively decreases the supply of luna and increases the supply of ust this is how luna's price has gone parabolic because to mint ust you're burning luna and that is one of the biggest factors why luna went parabolic and when i realized that you know when luna was around five ten dollars that's when i made those videos and went absolutely crazy with luna so it's a really important concept to understand. So the, the way the UST algorithmic stablecoin works is, you know, burning Luna and when the price is below it, it incentivizes the users to burn UST in, in exchange for Luna. So that's how the peg works. And it's an amazing how algorithmic stablecoin works. The stablecoin mining, I'm not going to get too, uh, too involved in that. But again, uh, you can achieve stable mining rewards. That's another way of making money. And what I was trying to explain to you. So if the price of Luna is increasing UST supply and decreasing UST supply and, and vice versa, and you know the uh, the the Columbus Five upgrade has also helped. The senior Raj was direct to the community pool to drive more adoption and during more expansion. I've made a lots of video on Columbus Five as well. That was another reason why the Luna price went up so much. So hopefully that helps you understand Luna uh, reserve currency, uh, how Luna and Terra ecosystem works. Let's try to understand how the Anchor Protocol works now. So Anchor Protocol reserves created a buffer to maintain 20% interest stability. So if you go on to this, is, I've still got money in there. I'm still earning 20% or 19.48%. And that's been stable. As you can see, it's not changed. And this has really helped, you know, grow ecosystem because usually in cryptocurrency and DeFi, there's no, you know, guaranteed APY. There's always, you know, fluctuating with what Anchor Protocol gave. It helped them to basically become the second highest tvl and so many people like myself and others put money into it and on top of the anchor protocol created lots of other protocols like mirror uh, where you can you know long farm short farm and you can borrow against your invested money and you get paid to borrow there's so much cool stuff those videos are coming out and those apys have gone down but you can still make really good money from it and um, this is how they stabilized it, you know, by having this reserve. If the reserve wasn't there, it will be completely dependent on the market, you know, depend on demand and supply. And like I've said, with the FUD is at the moment in a bear market, there's not that much money coming in, not much new money coming in. And the reserve isn't growing. It's going down. And within 20 days, I believe it's 21 days, it could go to zero. So what is what does this mean? for the anchor protocol so anchor rate is set by the anchors governance token anc uh, and again a anc it, it, usually people get their rewards like myself they just uh, unfortunately dump and that hasn't really helped with uh, the anchor uh, the anchor price and i'm, I'm not going to go to too much in the anchor protocol token i don't hold it the rewards i get i usually dump it for more luna or more ust so the project finances the super high deposit rates there's three income sources interest charged to borrowers staking rewards earned by borrowers collateral so liquid staking so b luna b eth so that's one of the biggest ways the project earns money so it's not that luna is just giving you 20 percent for no reason they have got incomes but the incomes is less than 20 percent, so it might not be sustainable in the long term i'll share with you my opinion let's actually share with you the facts first 
if the realized yields from the three income sources is greater than the anchor rate, the excess amount is kept aside as UST denominated anchor resolved assets. This is how the resolved assets got so big. The protocol taps into the reserve when the realized yield is less than the anchor rate, uh, which is what is happening at the moment. So that's how they actually earn money. So uh, borrowers collateral, uh, liquid stake, uh, liquid staking, B Luna, B ETH, and also liquid um liquid fees so interest rates charged to borrowers staking rewards from b luna and b eth and liquidation fees and depending on how much they earn if they're earning more the reserves go up if they're earning less and having to pay still that rate this is when it's go down and in a bear market bearish period traders are less likely to borrow ust so people aren't borrowing ust so the anchor protocol is not earning as much and this is what has caused the issue i'll go through the duquan th uh, thread as well which is really going to help you understand so like that's my opinion as well the yield uh, of 20 percent is not sustainable in my opinion and the protocol is facing a deficit so something needs to happen you know potentially so these are the facts I, i'll touch on at the end of the video so more capital needs to go in so potential you know the 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 terra farm labs need to put in 70 million it, it's happened previously they've invested money in during the crypto crash of may june drop the interest rates so drop the interest rates to 20 percent let her you know let the interest rate fluctuate but I think that's going to have detrimental effects on the, on the protocol, uh, you know, the wider ecosystem. There's lots of protocol that depends on the anchor protocol 20%. So that that's going to be a huge impact as well. So it's not just a one solution. So those are some of the solutions that's been talked uh, that that's been talked about. I don't think they'll invest that 70 million in or more money in because that's going to be a short time frame fix. That's not really a long term fix, in my opinion. So uh, again, this is the, the control. If I read the end bit, so borrowers providing collateral are given ANC tokens proportional to the amount borrowed. ANC is also used to incentivize bootstrap borrow demand, initial de deposit rate stability. The protocol distributes ANC every block to stable borrowers proportional to the amount borrowed. So ANC token with utility might bring loan demand and greater income for the protocol, alleviating the pressure of the reserves. Quan assured that he is resolved. He's he is re resolved to finding ways to ways to subsidize the yield reserve so they're still you know this is a way that they're still trying to make sure that they can still have that yield reserves i'm uh, resolved to find ways of the subsidizing the yield reserves anchor is still in growth phase maintaining the most attractive yield in DeFi. stable will strengthen that growth and build up more so i think it's really important they hold that because you know there's lots of other competitors in cryptocurrency they might be going into other projects people might be moving money and once people start moving away you can see a cascade of people moving to phantom bsc ethereum and anchor protocol really don't want that and it creates fud so i think it's like a, comp a the the marketing slogan for luna and this is what's helped luna and terra grow so i really think the team is going to try their best and i could be wrong they might come up with something crazy and that sustains that 20 percent which is what i hope they can do so hopefully you've understood uh, what's actually going on with the project uh, i will read this thread now again it's not going to take that long again, we can read it in a lot more detail i'm going to share with you the key factors so what uh, makes anchor different he aims to solve two problems existing money market yields on stable coins were too volatile for most people to use so like i've said most most uh, platforms in crypto it can go up or down and if someone tells you I'm, i might give you five percent fifteen percent thirty percent you're less likely to put your money in i myself got into i don't really get involved with projects lately i've been uh, getting involved with DeFi, olympus dow time before everything went crazy uh, gaming in axie infinity we're recently buying peg axie uh, that's another project little alpha i'm sharing with you guys i'm putting money into peg axie and video contents will come out so yeah uh, stay tuned for that so it's really important, uh, you know, there's a, a sustained stable coin, stable reward. Collateral is staked and yield bearing thereby more cap efficient. Centerpiece of solving both problems is yield reserves. If the effective money market rate is higher than the anchor rate, usual rate is plus 55%, then the yield reserve operates at a surplus, if not at deficit. Yield reserve continually funded by collateral staking returns. Recently, as leverage started to wind down from the crypto markets, deposits have gone up a lot, borrowing down and the anchor protocol makes money on borrowing. The yield reserves has been running at a deficit at, to maintain the deposit yields and this is what we've seen it was a reddit post that sort of started all this uh, the first thing is that yield reserve was created precisely for uh, for situations like this 
you can't get upset when the mechanic the mechanism fulfilling its exi existential purpose so this is a really good point he makes the yield reserves were put in for this reason you know this shows the anchor protocol lunar terra ecosystem works they're not you know trying to make money out of you or they're not trying to like run away they're, this is how the ecosystem works and at the moment it is working it is giving anchor protocol duquan time to actually fix the issue with staking returns plus anc borrowing in incentives can still offer 15 to 16 percent so that the anchor protocol can still offer 15 to 16 percent if they don't want to go into deficit so that one solution could be the worst thing that can happen is get 15 percent, 16 percent rewards i know there's lots of fun you know anchor is gonna die it's gonna all this bad stuff everything you know if, if they let the markets decide on demand and supply they can still sustain 15 to 16 percent and that could be a great solution so you know narrowing the gap between deposits and borrowers is an important challenge when we started anchor they took advantage of you know bespoke staking creating liquidity forcing users to bridge uh, said collateral to the terror chain from others to borrow and deposit so all this happened and like i've said they're still in the growth phase so we're making changes in the next iteration of the protocol to be more flexible uh, and they also can add more staking coins so you know be soul uh, be avax and more bonded assets that can help them earn more money so that is an, a solution and we're also taking anchor users on other chains instead of forcing bridging so avalanche users want to borrow natively instead of having to bridge and set up so they're working on a few other things that can help goal is to drop lunar dominance in anchor protocol under 40 percent by growing adoption of other assets so that is a solution where it could help them still earn that crazy crazy 20 percent. so that's not completely out of the question and they are you know finding ways uh, subsidizing the re uh, reserve and i've also been getting lots of dms comments more often on various takes on anchor and, uh, and terra he wants to you know spend his time fixing these issues and not just be a customer service so hopefully that you know gets away from some of the fuds um and we can still see that TVL in Luna is still high and is still the number two in, in the whole of cryptocurrency, higher than Binance Smart Chain. So just to summarize all the latest news and uh, I'm going to come into the fun price prediction video, uh, part of the video. Let's just quickly round up my thoughts on this and summarize it so uh, 1.25 million per day is is going out at the moment and they're trying to make changes if this happens it will take about three weeks there is a solution where they you know put more capital in there's a solution they bring more assets into the, you know be soul and other assets that can help them earn more capital still sustain the 20 percent i personally think that it probably it's not going to be sustainable or they're going to make those changes in the short term i'm not sharing fud that's just my opinion from what i've understood uh, it's not sustainable uh, so potentially the interest might have to drop and um, what i don't want is just suddenly say from 20 percent we're going to 15 percent because there's lots of other protocols that are built on top of anchor anchor is like the flagship protocol for uh, for terra and lunar ecosystem so if the apy just suddenly drops it's going to have a massive cascading effects and potential lot more liquidations and we don't really want that so i think if the cut if the if the team decides that the 20 percent is not sustainable and i'm not saying that they will that's just my opinion i hope duquan and the team comes up with something crazy and keeps that 20 percent sustainable i still have my money in it in 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 the lunar terra ecosystem so so if, if, if it's not sustainable, I think it'd be good to reduce it by half a percent and then other teams, other protocols can manage that rather than just saying, right, we're going to drop it to 15 percent or 16 percent. That can have a detrimental effect. So that's my opinion, my thoughts. People that are more experienced on Luna Terra ecosystem, please let me know. Um, I am a trader. Luna was the first, you know, crypto I got involved uh, since 2017, really, where I just got involved fundamentally with the team, staking, anchor, mirror protocol, looking at other protocols as well stada astroport there's so much goodness in the in the ecosystem and i feel like it's my job to you know share with you guys my opinion because i told you guys to buy luna and uh, amongst all the sort of um ship posting if you want to call it that you know luna to a thousand dollars i do share exactly my thoughts how i'm trading when i'm taking profit nowhere do i say just go all in that trade that i shared live i had my stop and my entry target so hopefully some of you took it and that hit our first target so amazing if you guys made money um i think luna could you know should hold that support level so let's come into the price prediction video uh, part of it now 
So Luna, guys, is a huge $50 support. I saw some volume spikes in the shorter time frame. RSI divergence. If you want to learn more about our trading strategies, I'll leave the links below. On the YouTube, guys, I share with you. I do share with live trades as well with entries and targets. But in the Rockstar Trading Group, I can share my entries, my targets. One of the recent trades we took is looks hit our first target you can see that was the trade we were looking for really nicely hit our target even if i didn't take it i'm posting trades there's you know other people talking about we're talking about peg -axi, lots of people uh, breeding it there's you know you can get return on investment in 20 days and uh, i'll make lots more videos on it but yeah if you want to be involved with our community there's d5 metaverse trading live stream and most of all the community some really experienced people been in crypto longer than me i'll leave the links below if you're interested it's less than not 40 bucks it's less than 30 bucks to trial us for a month see if it's for you if not that's fine you can just try us uh, if you want to take your trading to the next level you can use that offer to check out so, so the short time frame again the main reason is really high time frame support i could see that everyone was getting really bearish on it most people were already selling there was RSI divergence coming in as well. You can see RSI was getting oversold. Really nice, nice RSI divergence. Volume spike. Short time frame trade setup. So on the five minute time frame, we got a trigger. So the trigger is basically trend change and pull back to moving average. That was our entry, and boom, hit our first target. So what now, Great Rocker, you made money. And hopefully you guys made money as well. I posted it on Twitter. And basically, if you watch my YouTube last, yesterday's YouTube live stream, I talked about this trade because I was in that trade when I was making that video. So what now, guys? I personally think that... I personally hope that Luna holds $45-$46, so that trade I've taken half off. Now I'm looking for Luna to put in a higher low. I'm even happy for Luna to dip into 45 but what I don't want is get daily and weekly closes below here. So if you look here, people were getting bearish and I said, look, we're not getting weekly daily closes. We're not getting trend changes. I'm happy to hold. So as long as we don't see trend changes below 50 I think Luna could still hold this and rally into the 60 high. 60 70 dollars and, and the daily moving average and potentially even higher but that will be the main target and then we'll see if luna can you know chop around and then break out into new highs a lot will depend on bitcoin and how luna deals with this 20 percent anchor protocol update but i do think if they can succeed in that luna could have a breakout and i'm pretty confident luna price will be a lot higher in in the future so that is the short time from trade i'm looking at chop around here then break out you could still buy some now and and as long as we don't trend change below 40 45 uh, you could still hold it for me i've already taken that trade and i'm going to look for something like this to buy more luna targeting high time frame there long term guys uh, you know people usually buy in a raging bull market you know i made a tweet try to basically share what how how people's psychology work you know i've he uh, held bitcoin dump you know i've held through these dumps what people most new people on twitter and social media they all talk about luna when it's at 100 but when when it dips they don't want to talk about it i'm different i want to be buying these cheap tokens and i want to dump on the newbies and the crypto influencers when it really pumps out you know learn from traders how to trade not from crypto influencers so uh, psychologically guys this is a really good level to buy if it fails here i'll actually lose money and i'll have to look to buy back a lot cheaper around 30 to 20 dollars and you have to be completely open when you're trading if it loses this i think this is where we look to buy we had a huge sell-off you know i was looking to buy luna here when we broke down i got out got some amazing entries i think this is where it could bottom if bitcoin breaks below you know 40 you know it's already broken 40k but if it dips to below 30k or 30k level i think luna will potentially come into this level so do be cautious at the moment i'm really looking for this daily 200 moving average that was another reason for that long uh, again i posted that uh, on the previous youtube video this is another reason i'm happy for another dip i want the daily moving average to hold you know previously it bottomed out, out around the daily moving average uh, again this took a bit longer but it did bottom out after hitting hitting 20, daily 200 moving average so we'll see if we get one of those scenarios uh, long term guys you could look to buy some now so if you're looking to buy ten thousand dollars worth of luna buy some now and if it starts trend changing we can you know buy more as it's go up uh, for me I, I wouldn't go all in luna now because in case it dips you know you want to have some capital to buy back lower if it dips here and gives me a setup you know i can sh i'll look to share with you another trade like that but again luna's already rallied that much so maybe in the next bear market we can get an amazing rally for now trend following still holding daily ma weekly still holding i like it i'm long luna at the moment and that is the trade setup i'm looking for 
so that's the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys hit that like button uh, comment below subscribe it really helps the youtube algorithms grow enough slightly change the content i'm going to be making less videos but going to have longer videos with you know presentation slides educating education videos and this type of videos where i go in a lot more detail so i'd rather have you know 10 or less people watching but you know the people that watch it are actual crypto content crypto the people that are making money from it and if you are new again let me know i'm happy to help you guys out as well the content that i'll be sharing going forward will also help new people get started as well so if you do enjoy this type of content hit that like button before i end the video what is your thoughts on luna what is your thoughts on anchor protocol comment below if i've got something wrong i'm happy to admit it i'm not a fundamental you know cryptographer or luna you know product builder so do let me know if i've got something wrong and share with me something that i don't know let me know i've got my money invested so i want to be on top of with all the news that is happening so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel check out the rockstar trading group if you want to get involved with our community if not guys just hit that like button and, and hopefully i can just make you money from hitting that like button so all i ask for you guys if you've enjoyed the video hit that like button comment below subscribe to the channel i will be doing another live stream on tuesday next week so make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the notification button you can ask me live questions about strategies luna the whole lot so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video go luna